Okay, uh, this is a quick a quick video um, to explain something about um, libraries in um, in Fusion 360. One of the things that's a little bit tricky in Fusion 360 is when you export a library um, out of the the, the libraries, um, your local libraries uh, to Fusion. Um, when I say local, I mean they're 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 sitting on online. They're in Fusion in the Fusion Cloud, but they're not. Um, um, really in a shareable place, um, they have to be exported and then um, somebody else can re-import them. Well, one of the tricky things with that is that the models, the, 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 the actual mechanical models don't often, uh, they don't come with those parts unless they happen to be mechanical models that are in some other library that you have, I believe. But anyway, uh, it's not attached to that library. It's all, it's all reference. And so if you don't... Um, if you don't have permissions to, to manipulate that model, then then you don't get it, and so you, you'll get the, the you'll get the um, you'll get the symbol, and you'll get the footprint, um, and you'll get the component, but you won't get the model. And so, um, as we share these with class in, in a class, um, that, that's not as as helpful. We'd like to share the the three D model well. The way you do that, apparently, in, in Fusion 360 is you use library.io. And I wanted to show that here. Library.io is a system that was set up, um, uh, that was set up to share and to, to allow um, teams to work on libraries and to share those libraries. And so um, I'm going to change this other fold. This is the library that I'm sharing with. Uh, the class, this class that 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 has this, um, that's using um, using these components. And if I go and look at them, these are all the, you know, the the part, the components, and the symbols that are in that library. And so it includes, um, you know, it includes the mechanical models as well. So not just the footprints, but also things like, um, you know, the the 3D model here. Oh. Yeah, so there you go. So, so you've got the, the 3D model of this thing. All right, so, so to get all of that, you've got to get permission to the person's library. So you can add members to it here. And um, um, yeah, so, so you can add people to that, to that library, and then they'll have access to it. Now, once you get access to that library, what do you do? So um, you can come over here and if you know, it, I'm in this, um, I'm in this little test project that I created. Um, I can come up here to library and go to the library manager, and then I can, um, you know, select library.io, and I can look at the managed libraries. And so you'll you'll see um, you'll see this size embedded systems folder there, and then you can turn that on. And so once you turn that on, you'll have access to those to those parts. And I, I believe, I think it actually, it's doing it right now. It's, it's bringing those local to your machine um, out of libraries.io. But that's basically how you do it. And then you would have access to those when you go to add a part um, like that, you know, like that light sensor. Um, so, um, yeah, so without waiting for this to download, um, you'll just go in and, and add these like and yet that'll be one of your libraries that, that you'll have access to when you add a part so um, Yeah, so that's it for this video. It's a short one um, Again, uh, the idea was just to show you that yeah, you can go and get those 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 libraries now You have to be added to that library So uh, I think it's one of the the sort of things they're working on from what I can tell from the forums um, at Autodesk is some mechanism to make a library public so it's publicly readable but not editable uh, when you give somebody permission to your library at libraries.io you're giving them access to modify too and so it's you know i think what they're you know hopefully they'll have at some point in the near future is some way to deal with it kind of like you would with the github repository where you know, maybe even this idea of, you know, you, you just read it in general, but if you want to make a contribution to it, you do something like a pull request where you suggest a modification, uh, provide, you know, that, that modification, and then the, the owner of that library can then decide uh, what to do with it next.
So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's it for this video. Um, um, we'll leave it there. Thanks.